Amen. Verse uh, four, uh, was that verse uh, 12 through 14, Pat? Oh, I didn't do 14. I'm sorry. Uh -huh. Depart from evil and do good. Seek peace and pursue it. Amen. 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 Who has Romans chapter 12, verses 17 to 19, New Living Translation? I'll read it if you, yeah. Somebody have that? Romans chapter 12, verses 17 to 19. I can read it. Romans okay, 12, 17 yeah. through 19. Yeah, I have the new um, living if you, uh-huh. Yeah, I got new living. Uh, okay. Never pay, never pay back evil with more evil. Do things in such a way that everyone can see you are honorable. Do all that you can to live in peace with everyone. You said 17, 17 through 19. 19. Uh -huh. Dear friends, never take revenge. Leave that to the righteous anger of God. For the scriptures say, I will take revenge. I will pay them back, says the Lord. Amen. 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 Um, before I forget, keep uh, Sister Eleanor Wade in prayer. She's in uh, uh, Mississippi visiting, not where the devastation is, but she has family or friends there. And uh, She's not, I don't think she'll be on Bible study, but I want to, don't want to forget her. She's faithful, committed, and I just wanted to do that without failing. Um, we're talking about mental health and mental illness issues. And that can be, listen to me, that can be the cause uh, of why hurt people hurt other people. Uh, 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 sometimes a person who has been hurt, understand I said sometimes, a person who has been hurt may be driven by the desire to hurt uh, someone else in the same way they have been hurt, to bring you down and cause you pain in the same ways they have experienced it. Now, I want to make to the Bible study class, those that are listening, I want to make it perfectly clear that when hurt people hurt other people, we don't have all the answers or we don't know all the reasons why, because it's just too many unexplained variables. So we're not trying to act like we have all the answers. Why hurt people hurt people? We're not suggesting that every person that hurts somebody has a mental illness, but they yeah. there are possibilities. These are possibilities. Is that right? Amen. That okay? Amen. Okay, so I don't want anybody past them. No, I didn't say that. These are possibilities. In other words, we all know that life is hard. Life is difficult. And we're constantly confronted with challenges, uh, distractions, and obstacles that threaten to upset us. I mean, you, you listen to the news and, you know, uh, it seems like it's nothing but bad news. I, I don't know. I, I don't even want to hear, hear the news sometimes. It, it repeats and, and, and we have all of this... Uh, accusations and, and 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 it's gotten so that people say anything and everything that comes out of their mouths and uh it, it can uh, uh, uh impact us emotionally and psychologically not only from what we hear on the news but people hurt us people say things about us people do things to us that oftentimes hurt us or sometimes because we've been hurt we lash out at people, other people, um, and uh, it's not the way God would have us to do. And yeah. uh, we remember last week, we said that there are some risk factors that increase the chances of developing a mental illness problem or developing unha unhealthy mental health issues. There are some things that contribute to that kind of thing. And remember last week at Bible study, we stopped at one of the uh, risk factors that perhaps uh, uh, increase the chances of developing mental illness is uh, sometimes, oftentimes, we have a family history of mental illness. Yeah. I was talking to a colleague of mine yesterday, and, uh, you know, he was asking me how my family is doing, and, 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 and I was asking him, how his family is doing. And my colleague said this, not to uh, put his family person uh, down, and I'm not going to name, that wouldn't be right, but 
Uh, he says, um, you know, thanks for praying for my wife and, you know, my other family member. And he says, keep my uh, sister in prayer. He says, uh, man, that she is, uh, for lack of a better word, he says she's a very dangerous and angry person. And she's very hurtful and she lashes out. He says, uh, I love her, but I, I have to stay clear of her. This mm -hmm. is a family uh, a member. I don't know if anybody else has family members that are just bad news, for lack of better words. I mean, uh, you love them, but you, you, you can't have them around. You can't be in company with them because they, they, they mess up. Is yeah. anybody understanding? Uh, you you, you yeah. may not have, but yeah. everyone yeah. has family Amen. members who have had them that are just a piece of work. Yes. Yeah. You know, Amen, you know, Pastor. A piece of work, for lack of better words, but there's some that uh, the, 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 the mental health issues have gone above and beyond the norm. And I'm talking about a family history of mental illness. But not only is there uh, oftentimes uh, contributing factors to uh, problems or, or, or mental issue, uh, illness issues or, or, or decline in mental health because of a family history of mental illness. But unres number two, unresolved trauma can contribute. Unresolved trauma including an abusive childhood experience oftentimes contributes or, or is the culpable for uh, people that have uh, uh, mental health issues or mental illness uh, issues. Uh, I'm talking about unresolved trauma. And just before we look at uh, unresolved trauma, what it is, I might ask the question, well, we might ask, what is a traumatic, what is trauma? Is somebody, anybody, what's trauma? What's trauma? In your, what, what would, when somebody said, what's trauma, what would you say? Trauma is what? Something that, something that is, um, can be, I guess, extreme enough where it, 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 it messes with your everyday thinking, everyday life, everyday emotions. Your emotions are kind of, uh, I don't want to say all over the place, but it kind of brings you, it, it, it gives you like unrest. You, you don't feel right. um, something that resurfaces, I guess. Uh, as I no, that, that, that's, right. that's right. It's no one clear cut um, uh, answer, Reverend Pointer. So you're right. And, 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 and someone else might say, when I hear trauma, I think of, you know, and they might, something else might come right to mind. Trauma, you when know. I, when I think of trauma, I think yeah. about, I look at it like a shock to the system, mm -hmm. a, 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 a shock to your nervous system, like almost like electricity. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Anybody else? When were you in trauma? And and understand, we're talking about unresolved trauma. So a shock to the system, things that you uh 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 have disturbed, like a disturbance, right. something distressing, like yeah. stressing you out, something. Yeah. Yeah. Something like that. Yes. Anybody else before we move on trauma to you? All of the above and plus, is there something else we left out or pretty much clearly already what we've said? Well, yeah. trauma, it, 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 it's, it's, it's events or occurrences within your life or that has happened in your life, life that, is, that causes physical, emotional, spiritual or psychological pain. And when it happens, we're talking about um, unresolved. We didn't deal with it before, or perhaps we didn't know how to deal with it before. And it's carried over from childhood into our adulthood. And yeah. unresolved trauma uh, uh, is oftentimes, for the most part, an invisible illness. Uh, we won't get into it, but uh, uh, if you had an abusive parent, uh, you know, uh, 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 some things that happen in, in your life. All of us have, I would say, ventured to say, every one of us on this line, and, and there's some things that have happened in your life and mine that no one else needs to know about. You know about it. You know God knows about it. And it would do no good for everybody else. But is it anybody other than me that has uh, experience in your 
youthful days, a, a young person <laughs> that experienced trauma and, 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 and every now and then certain events today trigger those thoughts and emotions from way back. Is there anybody that? Yes. Yeah. Yes. 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 You know, and so unresolved trauma, when we talk about is trauma that has not been dealt with and an unresolved trauma, according to some psychologists, occurs, listen, most commonly when rather than processing the tra traumatic event, sometimes we try to forget it and uh, suppress it. It's so painful. You know, yeah. I don't want to think yeah. about it. You know, we push it back or we try to hide it or conceal it. Uh, you know, there's some traumatic events that we've gone through in our youthful days, so to speak, that right now is an embarrassment. It's a shameful thing. It's an embarrassment yeah. thing, you know, that we don't want to talk about. And again, yeah. we're talking about, uh, when we talk about why hurt people hurt people, there are certain things that um, uh, when we talk about unresolved trauma carried over from trial, uh, childhood that has <laughs> lasting effects both emotionally phys and physically, and they can remain with us uh, well into our adulthood. And if we don't, some, sometimes we have to confront and deal with traumatic events that occurred in our uh, past uh, youthful days, for lack of better words. And, and when I say that, I'm saying if it's not dealt with, we will impose whatever the pain that we experienced prior to onto someone else who had nothing to do with that traumatizing event. You yeah. know, you've heard me yeah. say uh, you, you want to make other people pay for <laughs> what someone else did. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. You know, yeah. and, and, and some things are that, that, that painful. And then there are various types of childhood uh, trauma. Um, is, can you name a few? I, I got them here, but can anybody name a few types of childhood trauma experience? Yeah. Doesn't have to be yours, but can you think of any, uh, some types of childhood trauma experiences that can carry over into adulthood? Can anybody think of? You know, I think uh, you know, neglect. Violence. Okay, wait, well, I heard two things. We, what's neglect, what's neglect was one. Neglect. Domestic yeah. violence. Domestic violence. Physical abuse. Physical abuse. Verbal abuse. Verbal abuse. Homelessness. Sexual abuse, but also yes. even a loss of a loved one, a, a family member, yes. a parent. You know, anything like that. Answer, amen. Lost rape. Like a loved one. Rape. 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 Mm -hmm. rape yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. All of those. A physical, uh, you could be a physical car accident or something, too. Yes. A car, a, 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 some yeah. kind of accident. Right. And also, like, you know, the same thing he just said is natural disasters that can natural. happen. Imagine, listen. Imagine, I, I don't know, if, yeah, you do, the, 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 uh, the, the trauma uh, that has occurred and is occurring in parts of Mississippi, tornado. Yes, yes. I mean, can you imagine, I mean, I don't want to imagine, and, 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 and there are folks that complain because it rained too much in Philadelphia or this, that. Can you imagine the trauma that could occur? And, and you, you know, when you listen to these other uh, localities that, have experienced and continue to experience devastation, uh, uh, tornadoes, or earthquakes, and you know your home that you worked all your life to to pay off, and now it's ashes. You, you know, yeah. uh, loved ones that. Uh, you, 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 what about trauma? Uh, someone comes into your school and kills three teachers oh, and yes. three That's more babies. Yes. Mm -hmm. of your, you yes, send your yes, yes, amen. And, and 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 you expect a safe haven, but here's some young person, some don't young, some person, male or female, that has a weapon that is designed to take out multiple people at a time, 
and, and they have easy access to. I'm not. They call it yeah. politics. Why is it politics, uh, Democrat, uh, a Republican? You've got weapons that were designed for military killings. Yeah. You know, multiple killings. Why does a regular Joe, for lack of better words, need two, one, two, three, four in a house of these weapons that are designed to kill? Yeah. I mean, you can't say for hunting. You the hunters don't use a machine gun; they destroy the meat. I'm yeah. serious. Yeah. The yeah. hunter doesn't use a, a, a AK, whatever. They don't use that. You mess up the meat. There's got to be a one shot at a certain yeah. place in the body. Yeah. Yeah. But you know what it is, Pat. Now I know we know it. money. Yeah. The love of money. Because yeah. they're making so much money. And so yeah. they, when you talk about uh, 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 taking away or even having, uh, before you can get a, 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 a weapon, you have to have a, 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 what do you call it, check, background check. What's wrong with that? Nothing. Right. What's wrong right. with that? Well, they want to make, they wrong with make that. sure the right person get the guns. Yeah. I mean, and, we'll and listen. It. Yeah, go ahead. I would, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Um, uh -huh. But but think about even the trauma of how people have to relive this over and people that have experienced it in the schools. Every time you hear about another shooting, that resurfaces yes. for them. And yes. the problem also is, is thus that, you know, we haven't necessarily been affected. We shouldn't as that shouldn't be a common thing. We just have a conversation. We've become almost getting numb to it. And that's scary yeah. where we always it's hear scary. like, OK, another shooting here, another shooting here. Like we that shouldn't be a norm. You know what I mean? Where we just right. oh, just another shooting. Oh, OK, I mean, but, and that's scary. So there's trauma. That's stuff that we're experiencing that we just constantly after a while, just okay. I mean, and, and it's it's not cool. That's all I'm saying. It's it's yeah. we're almost having unresolved, just hearing it over and over again, and just uh, oh okay, you know. I mean, it's 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 sad, but I'm just saying this is what I, it is. Yeah, I think because we become, become so complacent with the violence is in the world that even though it's happening to us, and even though we're hurt by it and stuff like that, it's so commonplace that we just. In order to get on with life, we just take and push it aside and keep on moving because it haven't affected us personally. And when it does, we of course we want everybody to take and listen and you know listen and hear my story. But one of the things that I I think about a lot is that a lot of all a lot of this stems from our um, our social, economic, financial uh, instability or. Um, uh, what was that word? Abuse that have occurred through the uh, uh, to the African American and people of minority races throughout our uh, time here in these United States, and because of like Pastor was saying about mon uh, money, the money issue with uh, people that have the money, they're in control of the money, and the only way they're going to keep the money is to take and keep somebody down there making the money so that they can yeah. earn the, earn the profits from it. And that, yep. uh, that causes a lot of um, tension in homes. It causes a lot of confusion. It causes a lot of hatred and pain through all of these communities. And the only way that they can, not the only way, but one of the ways that they uh, overcome their dissatisfaction with life is to take and strike out to with anyone that they can hurt and not feel as though uh, the whole world's going to crash down on because, okay, you hit, you attack this white man and um, the whole white society come down on you. But if you attack your neighbor and he's in the same position and he can't really have no power, so therefore nothing really is going to happen, you know? And too often you find that our communities, our neighborhoods are uh, red line uh, through the police force. Don't go in this neighborhood. Don't go in that neighborhood. Don't, you know, don't bother them, you know, let them destroy themselves. And it's, it's a lot of factors that enter in all of this that's happening to us now and will continue yeah. to happen to us until we stand up and do something about it. And that's my civil rights uh, uh, communication for tonight. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Listen, and, and I heard you loud. And guess what? When we talk about hurt people hurting people, some of the folk that are hurting people, when you go back, they have mental illness issues. And one of the things that you said, Pat, and it's on in my outline here, stress caused by poverty. The young man, 16-year-old, was robbed. It was a yesterday or something shot killed. Uh, uh, excelling in school and someone in yes. we're talking about poverty uh, communities and po it's not a white black it's they, they lash out and some right. people are jealous because you are doing in their minds better than them and they want what you have or exactly. they want to destroy you because of what you either have or the potential and 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 uh it, it, it's continuing to persist and, and we don't want to get, but sometimes like it's already been said, we kind of, uh, we, we want to suppress it because we get tired and, 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 and belligerent by, by so much bad news that we're tired of hearing bad news. And so we said, ah, oh, well, that's the norm. And, and that's the difficulty. Uh, when we talked about the other day about the how the enemy, uh, the, the conspiracy, the conspiring to get us to where uh, 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 death and destruction is normal. And, 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 and then you begin to, it becomes without even thinking more acceptable, oh, whatever. Or a politician lies straight up, oh, they all lie. And then right. we don't hold anybody accountable there's no accountability yes. and biblically speaking god says we are accountable so yes, rather are. than allow myself to get so distressed what i oftentimes say and guess what by the way guys today was one of my worst days for i was so busy today and here's how busy you're talking about stressful Trying to get through the traffic to this, that. I got caught in the trap. I mean, you know, I'm trying to, I'm supposed to be over visiting this person, uh, sick, and then I get a call. There's someone else that may not live past today. So I had to redirect. And then you get on the highway, and you know, everybody's going 100 miles an hour, and I'm two lanes. I need to be over two more lanes, but everybody's speeding. So I'm almost heading into Jersey before yeah. I can get off the exit. And rather than panic, I'm talking to the Lord all the time. Lord, give me safety, this, that. Yeah. Don't you know, those of us, you can talk to the Lord any, any time of the day, but God yes. will give you a peace. Yes, he will. Yes. All understanding. Amen. Yeah. You know what I'm talking about? I, hurt people, I wanted, hurt people. It, it, rather than me run the risk of cutting through the aisles, and you hear Pastor Point was in a major accident, or uh, he was caused, or, or somebody ran into him, and, all, and the enemy wants to kill and destroy us by any means yes, he will. necessary. And he doesn't yes, care. Yeah. And what I'm talking about, hurt people. If you've had a bad day, and, and, and all of us have our bad days, we have a tendency, a propensity to take it out on somebody else close to us, whether it's your yeah. wife or your husband. And so we're talking about this trauma or, 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 or uh, uh, unresolved trauma that, that carries over. And, and there's different kinds of trauma. There's emotional trauma. There's yes. psychological trauma, uh, you know, and, and uh, we, we can't pretend that it doesn't happen. And so uh, uh, I, I want to give us, and if somebody wants to talk, just say something. And, and of course, I'll give way because I want your input. But I have some ways that untreated trauma affects our life, my life and yours, untreated if we don't deal with it. Uh, we, some things we, you know, it's easier sometimes to say, I don't want to talk about it. But that doesn't stop. That doesn't, that doesn't help oftentimes. I don't want to talk about it because if I don't talk about it, that means I don't uh, won't have to do anything about it. And I don't want to do anything about it because now it's going to resurface the pain, perhaps. But there's some ways that uh, uh, you're untreated or if you have untreated trauma, how it affects uh, 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 your life and minds. And, and I want to give you a couple of these ways. And of course, if you have something to add or you have something to say, please 
say, uh, Pastor, you know, let me let me interject. Um, I have something. Uh, whoever you might be on this line. This is a dialogue, not a monologue. We're here to help because we're talking about why hurt people hurt people. And oftentimes there's a possibility is because of trauma, uh, unresolved, some, some, some unhealthy mental experiences or emotional experiences or mental illness that has uh, as a result of untreated mental, you know, a, a trauma that now has evolved into now an illness. So we need to sometimes look at it and there's nothing that you and I could go through and experience that God does not have an answer or some kind of remedy or some yes. kind of way to deal with it. Okay? Yeah. So there's hope for everybody. Yeah. Um, uh, uh, Pastor, I think somebody has something. Pastor, I think somebody was trying to say something. Come on in. Come on in. Please. Oh, hello. Hi, um, I wanted to touch on um, what Brother Richard said when he said, um, you know, like we're kind of getting used to everything that's going on around us, even though it's absurd and we realize it. And uh -huh. I just had a scripture that brings me peace and comfort um, to knowing, and I just wanted to share the scripture. Yeah, please, please. Okay, so I'm reading from the New Living Testament, um, 2 Timothy, um, and it says, you should know this, Timothy, that in the last days, there will be very difficult times where people will love only themselves and their money. They will be yeah. boastful and proud, scoffing at God, disobedient to their parents and ungrateful. Mm -hmm. They will consider nothing sacred. They will be unloving and unforgiving. Mm -hmm. They will slander yeah. others and have no self-control. They will be cruel yeah. and hate what is good. They will betray their friends, be reckless, be puffed up with pride and love pleasure rather than God. They will act religious but they will reject the power that can make them godly and to stay away from people like that, like Pastor Pointer said. Yeah. What was that second Timothy? What verse is? Because I wanted to put, the, what was, do you know what the, the no. second Timothy? What was the verse? Right now. I'm, I'm sorry. Uh, I said that was, a, that's the times we're living in right now. Oh yes, we are. That's why I want to put those verses. Second Timothy, I mean, I don't, I can't tell. Yeah, I, I'm three, not, I what what was it? I think yeah. it's down chapter uh chapter three, second Timothy three, one through seven or something like that. Second Timothy chapter three, one through seven. I don't have you I guys. Think I'm not sure. Correct, Alexis. And whoever gets it, put it so we want to put that down because that it was so inclusive. Oh, I'm sorry, I was on mute. It was second Timothy one through five. Three. Uh, second Timothy oh, three, one through five. Yes, sir. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Listen, the, 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 everything we're talking about, you just, and you, she was reading, I think she said from the New Living Translation. But, mm -hmm. but, but, but it, 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 it's every, uh, I, 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 if I, I could change now, but I, I can't change my thing because I'm talking. Yet. We need to put that down. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. And, and another, in another um, language, it, it, it mentions without natural affection. And that's what, when, um, when Brother Richard mentioned that, it, you know, that we're so used to it, you know, people are without natural affection. Yes. Like our, reactions, yeah. our reactions to what's going on around us, it, we're numb, like he said. Yeah, yeah. It's true. I mean, it's true. Uh, you're talking, about, you know, it, it's, it's different translations. The first one was New Living Translation. Now another trend. That's why you hear me again, not to, when I'm preaching sometime, I'll, I'll, I'll change and say this translation, not because I'm trying to be confusing, but some translations may speak, it'd be more, uh, it's, it's, it's more understandable or, 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 or resonates a little bit more uh, by, by the way it's said or it, 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 you know, by the words. And that kind of thing, but the, yeah. but that's Second Timothy three one through five, yeah. uh, that's or really maybe powerful. some other verses. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. Uh -huh. I said that that's really powerful. Yes. And, yeah. And it's yeah. Because very powerful. powerful. Matter of fact, uh, Sister Reeves, read it again. I, I'm gonna like, read. You got it. Do you have it? I don't have it. Um, I, 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 no, it's very like powerful. Who, so it? It? who has it? Who read it? It's Alexis. Alexis, I'm back. I'm back. Oh, what translation y'all want? The, the, the one New Living said. Translation. Okay, so I have here. Three, you said one to five. Uh huh. One through five, and the, the title of the chapter is "The Dangers of the Last Days." Yeah. And it mm -hmm. states, "You should know this: 
Timothy, that in the last days, there will be very difficult times for people who will love only themselves and their, bun and their money. They will be boastful and proud, scoffing at God, disobedient to their parents and ungrateful. They will consider nothing sacred. They will be unloving and unforgiving. They will slander others and have no self-control. They will be cruel and hate what is good. They will betray their friends, be reckless, puffed up with pride and love pleasure rather than God. They will act religious, but they will reject the power that can make them godly and to stay away from people like that. Amen. 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 And, and guess what, um, uh, Sister Alexis, you already tricked. See, one of our studies coming up, we're going to be talking about because we want to know, it. are these the last days? And so I think we can look and see it's, all, you know, people have been saying it for years, ah, oh, they keep talking. But I believe without a shadow of a doubt, where we have got to regressed to this point in, 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 in our life. And now you're starting to see, I don't know if you guys know uh, with your theology, but the Bible does talk about a time where it's going to become a one man rule. We're getting mm -hmm. yeah. from that, not only in the USA, but in uh, Israel, where there's one person uh, wanting to be uh, like a dictator. Well, the last days is going to be one world ruler where yeah. people are going to respond to that one individual. You yeah. know, we hear about Antichrist. Well, there are Antichrist active now, Antichrist yeah. plural, yes. but they're yeah. going to rise up one particular. And yeah. so, uh, 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 I mean, we don't want to get into distracted, but that's what our Bible says. I want to, these are really, we're in danger of the last day, and it's really prophetically, and it's going to cause me to do a lot of study, which is fine, but we are really seeing that it's gotten to a point almost, well, in some cases, yeah, if God don't do something, it's going to be an impossible situation. Amen. It seems yeah. to be taken out of the hands of everyday people, and you've got a few people that are controlling everything. Yes. It's power. You wonder why people that say, I'm a billionaire, why would you go through all of that stress because of power and control? So Amen. let's keep moving. It, it, we're in these kinds of days now. Power and control. And it's demonic, y'all. Yes, it is. And so when we talk about uh, ways that untreated trauma may affect your life and mine, one of the things, if you resist uh, 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 when we talk about untreated trauma, people that are suspicious, overly suspicious about other people and situations. I know you have to keep your guard up, but you yes. can be suspicious where you can not receive even unintended, well, where you can't receive well-intended help. And, 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 and when you carry over unresolved trauma, within you, you can create a resistance to positive change. Yes. Where everything is suspicious. Nobody's any good. Uh, whoever it is, doesn't matter. They, they, they've got some, 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 something underneath. You know, even pastor, when he's talking, is because he's trying to manipulate somebody. <laughs> Everything's suspicious. And that's yeah. a dangerous people, a, a place to be in untreated trauma because you, you in earlier days when you did try to trust somebody and i mean this someone whoever he or she or they were they really hurt you so bad and if that person or those people who were supposed to be that close to me hurt me like that then i know other people that are not as close they got to be just like that and so yeah. untreated trauma now i don't trust anybody but 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 you've got to place your trust. I know in the Lord, but God will give you people or persons that you, everybody needs a human body that they can at least fellowship with or trust. Amen. Hello, somebody. Everybody Amen. needs somebody Amen. you can touch or talk to. Well, you can talk to the Lord. No, I need a sometimes a human, and it would yeah. be great with my husband or wife sometimes. <laughs> Y'all know uh, when, when you get to a point, you can't trust your husband or wife or your son or your daughter or some other 
close relative. The, the, you know, and I didn't say you you know what what created the distrust, but that's a dangerous place to be in where you can't trust the people closest to you. Amen. Okay. Uh, another thing that that untreated trauma, uh, way it may affect not only resistant to positive change, but when you have a compulsive need to micromanage everything. Yeah. Yeah. When you have a compulsive need to plan for or micromanage everything, if you don't have something to do with it, then you you can't be a part of it. Mm -hmm. you, you, that would be dangerous for me as a pastor yeah. if I could not um, trust people. Uh, I don't want to micromanage everything. I don't need to be myself micromanaged. I didn't say not be available to have uh, constructive con criticism, but micromanage where everything you do is under a microscope. I don't do that with people that are uh, uh, leaders in ministry here at Abyssinian. I, I, I'm prayerfully, and I listen, I'm like you. I place trust in some folk that disappointed me and disappointed the church. But guess what? Disappointment is a part of your spiritual growth. Yes, it is. Amen. Amen. Everyone's going to be disappointed by someone or someone's, but that does not mean it's the end of your relationship. Amen. Hello, somebody. So, so one of the things that may, uh, uh, when we talk about unresolved trauma, not only what I said, resistant to positive change or suspicious of people and situations to a fault. Secondly, I said, uh, uh, when you have to, when you have a compulsive need to plan for or micromanage everything, if you need to be in control. In order to, 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 to you know, uh, because otherwise you feel vulnerable to someone else. If you've got to be in control of other things and everybody, if you can't tr entrust care of a certain or particular thing to someone else, that's dangerous. That's counterproductive. That, that's, that, 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 and a lot of times that's a result of uh, untreated, uncontested, or unresolved is the word, unresolved trauma from earlier years. Uh, can I give you something else that 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 uh, uh, untreated trauma, uh, uh, another way that that can affect you? Yeah. If you have a strong fear of failure. Yeah. Yes. A strong fear of failure. No one wants to fail. Pulpit to the door, ceiling to the floor. No one wants to fail on your job, in your marriage, uh, you know, in whatever it is that you've invested time and, and, and energy. No one wants to fail, but failure is a part of, 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 of fruitfulness. Yes. Uh, you know, it, it, but you can have an overly... Uh, a too, too, too overly strong fear of failure. And, and, and guess what? Fear is normal, but it leans into an unhealthy fear uh, when it outweighs your motivation to succeed. I Amen. can't do what I try to do because I'm fear, uh, I, don't, I have a strong fear of failure. Yeah. You, you, is that making sense to anybody? Yeah. In, and, and this goes not just in vocation, but um, in a relationship, uh, you, you know, um, and, and, and somebody's on this line, but you won't know who it is, but I've talked to people, part of the relationship is stick to itiveness. Yeah. I'm not ready to quit because of this, that, or the other. Yeah. You know, when we got married, we said for better or for worse. Does that have any meaning to anyone? Yeah. Uh, uh, in sickness or in health. Mm -hmm. uh, wait a minute. Here's the one we don't like for richer or, or poor. You know, well, yeah, I know yeah. you're <laughs> no, 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 no. Um, failure. Uh, you know, then you have a fear of success. Yeah. 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 You, you know, uh, you, you fear of losing what you might have even before you have it. Yeah. 
you know, there, there are so many things. Well, everybody wants, but there's some folk with success comes all kind of other counterintuitive uh, things. And, 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 and um, how about this? Does anyone know that sometimes there, there's people fear or uh, have trouble with asking for help? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. There, there's something that can be, why would a person, I mean, I, I have my answer. Why would a person be, uh, have difficulty or have trouble asking for help when you know you need it? I would say, oh, go ahead. Hold on, hold on, Deke, Deke and Washington. Go, go ahead, Deke. I would say uh, one part, uh, part that I experienced was pride. Being right. you doing things mm -hmm. on your own and you get complacent and that you stay in that mindset. So you become like a little stubborn. I know with me, pride was a big thing I wrestled with. Even though I could be struggling, I would rather struggle and get it done on my own than ask for help. Yep. Amen. And somebody else was saying, thank you, D. Somebody else was saying. Yeah, I was just gonna say that sometimes uh, you don't wanna ask for help because you might not get the help that you need. Okay. 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 It could or be. Or that it may give someone a further uh, control of your life. Okay. How about this? Afraid of asking for help because of fear of rejection. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. or, or a fear that, uh, like an inferiority, like you don't know you're vulnerable. Absolutely. Like, so I have to, I have to depend on you to help me, you know, and maybe that's insecurities are resurfacing or maybe I used to get yelled at for being called stupid if I didn't know something. So maybe, I mean, yeah. I'm not saying every case, but maybe that's why, you know, so there, there's different facets to it. Yes. And then yes. also being vulnerable to ask for the help because of, is the person actually helping out of the kindness of their heart or are they using it as leverage? Oh, yes. I have to, um, guess, yeah. you know, about, you know, yeah. and they, Throw it in your face, so to speak. Yes, yeah. yes, Th that that's true. That is so true. Uh, uh, and, and 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 many a person has been hurt because of that. Uh, just what you said, Sister Reeves. People have been hurt uh, because of that. I entrusted. I shared with you. You don't know what it took for me to share this with you, and you you used it to exploit it. That. Right. Yes, and, and, and that's a traumatized, and perhaps it was something in earlier previous years. And when you finally thought you got to a point where now I can do, here it is again. Right. And and, yes. and 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 that's a that that creates a it, it's it's a it's it's a bad situation. Mm -hmm. yes. Yes. yes, yes. Um, I have another scripture to encourage people who might have that pride that I also struggle with to know okay. that the Lord. Um, definitely loves us and you know he he's there for us when we do put that wall down okay this is Alexa yes sir. this is who you, right uh-huh yes, what's sir. the other so I'm at I'm on Isaiah 43 um mm -hmm. and I one very short scripture one to two and okay. it says but now and the title is the savior of Israel but now, uh -huh. O Jacob, listen to the Lord who created you. O Israel, the one who formed you says, do not be afraid for I have ransomed you. I have called you by name, you are mine. When you go through deep waters, I will be with you. When you go through the rivers of difficulty, you will not drown. When you walk through the fire of oppression, you will not be burnt up. The flames will not consume you. For I am Amen. the Lord your God, the Holy One of Israel, your savior. I gave Egypt as a ransom for your freedom. I gave Ethiopia and Seba in your place. Amen. 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 And, 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 and there's other things that when we talk about unresolved trauma and, and, and that, that are upsetting uh, trauma that has occurred uh, or previous uh, earlier uh, years and it carries over. And then we find out sometimes we don't, we're distrustful or because it's a, uh, happened uh, more than we'd like to admit over again. And then we, we clam up, we shut down, 
and we don't trust anyone. But then if we're believers, God does not want us to get to the point where, and I, I'm, I'm saying this is what you've got to, there are some things that have happened in my life that I'm still dealing with. I remember, and I'm being a little transparent, uh, bad for the reputation, good for the soul. But I remember experiences in, I've been at Abyssinia for 27 years. And 27 years, there's been uh, ups and downs, uh, trials and tribulations and that kind of thing. But I remember, we're talking about hurt people, hurt people, where I wanted to hurt somebody because they had hurt me uh, 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 psychologically, uh, emotionally, that kind of thing, uh, where I placed my trust in, 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 in people and, 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 and that, that, that trust was, uh, what's the word for it? Uh, uh, taking advantage of, manipulated. Taking advantage of, yeah, all that kind of thing. Amen. Where I became, because it was traumatizing, now the pastor, I'm teaching, but I'm trying to be somewhat transparent, where I had to get to, where I had gotten to a point, I didn't trust anybody else in right. leadership. Right. Okay, trauma, so mm -hmm. it's not, everyone had you know i'm not exempt from this study we're all a part of it but i had to deal with it i could not allow it to be remain unresolved and still be an effective as a pastor as a leader amen, amen. so i had to deal with that uh uh, uh that trauma I, I could not leave it unresolved and how did you deal with it first of all i i had i took it to the lord and i lord you've got to do so i cannot be an effective pastor and not be able to trust someone because amen. i've been hurt amen somebody amen. By amen. People that i entrusted so much in and then they took right. and if it were for the people i would have been out on the street Right. Y'all ain't hearing me. That's Amen. No. <laughs> That's problem. So yes. from the pulpit to the door, no one is exempt. So I'm not talking to you about what I have not experienced, but I refuse to allow that trauma to go unresolved. I took it to the Lord and I said, Lord, because you know all things, you navigate the circumstances of my life to re restore in me yes. something so I can trust other yeah. people yeah and i can't give it to you on a not one two three four but god navigated circumstances and put people i remember where i've had a leader come because it was so obvious that i was distrustful came to me with like i'm just going to give you an example uh a figure of what pastor we, we we took in such and such and he said pastor before you do before you you know i know you've been hurt before but pastor this is what's really going on. You can, you know, I'm giving you the truth with it. And, and I didn't know, you know, people can for like a read you. Yeah. yeah. They yeah. saw the pain. They, they detected stress. And guess mm -hmm. what? I thought I was hiding it. Yeah. You know? <laughs> I thought I had it concealed. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's why you can have a smile on your face and somebody will say, well, what's wrong? You know yeah. Yeah, your pain. Yeah. What it says, your eyes, the window of your soul. You're smiling, yes. and you say, mm -hmm. "Why aren't they taking my smile?" Because I'm looking in your eyes, and your soul is crying out. Yeah, mm -hmm. don't make it sense to anybody. Amen. Amen. I Amen. Had to, I had to deal with. I could not allow the trauma. Particularly, and that's what the enemy wanted me as a pastor to be, to, to allow that to be unreal, where I could not trust anyone. But here's another thing. I've learned if, in fact, that ever occurs again, or and it has, not to allow me, not to allow it to take me back somewhere I don't want to go. I'll just say, oh, well. It's happened again, Lord. And just like you did before, you restored you someone else, you fixed it. Yes. So now I'm handling it differently. Y'all ain't getting me. I'm not a glutton for punishment, but because I realized that's a part of the ministry. Are y'all listening? Amen. So Amen. now when those things Amen. happen again, it doesn't shut me down. Yes. It doesn't yes. spill over now where I, I can't even trust my sisters on a lot of my son. I can't even know. 
Lord, I'm trusting you. And Amen. whatever you allow in my life or in the life of this ministry, it's for my good and your glory. Amen. Amen. Is that making sense to somebody? Mm -hmm. God yeah. be along the way when we say no pain, no gain. That's right. It's like Paul said in Romans chapter seven, the thing I didn't think I was going to have to deal with anymore, I'm still dealing with it. I'm paraphrasing. I said I wasn't going to do it no more. I said I, I didn't think I was going to have to have to deal with this trauma, but it came. It happened again, and he became so frustrated that he said, "Oh, wretched individual man that I am, who can deliver me from this trauma?" That's my word. Oh, I thank God Amen. for Jesus. Yes, yes. Yeah. Does that make, I hope that's helpful, somebody. Uh, we only got a few Amen. minutes, uh, but but uh, uh, untreated emotional or psychological trauma has a negative effect on your future well-being. We're talking about why hurt people hurt people. And if the shoe fits, you wear it. And then some odd, oh, I don't have nothing. He don't know what he's talking. Well, perhaps I don't. It doesn't fit you. But then think about it. There may be some unresolved issues that you have, have, have decided to ignore or to suppress. And it come, bleeds out. There are certain triggers in life that, 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 that causes it to resurface. And you don't know what's happening. Well, it's because it's unresolved. Unresolved. And, and I just gave you an example of um, how it could have been unresolved, but I had to deal. Did anybody hear my trauma I just told you about? Amen. Amen. So, so no one is exempt from it. And it will spill over, if not treated, into your relationships. You don't trust your husband. You don't trust your wife. You don't trust your children. You don't tr trust your parishioners. You don't trust anybody. You say, I trust God, but you really don't even trust him like That's you right. should. Because if you trusted mm -hmm. God like you should, you wouldn't be so distrusting about yeah. this other thing. Come yeah, on, absolutely. Right. Yeah. yeah, you're right. Absolutely. So, 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 uh, 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 it, it, it impacts it it, it 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 has a lot to do and and why don't people just go ahead and 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 get professional help to break the cycle i hear somebody saying <laughs> why don't you just go on and see it now yeah i'm being i'm being facetious sarcastic. Okay. why don't you go just see a shrink That's what I don't trust go ahead somebody go ahead i'm sorry uh-huh i said I like don't that. trust them either yeah, well, there you go. That's one thing. Don't trust them either. I, Somebody else was saying something too. I see a therapist every other week, and um, I've been I've go. been introduced to therapy since I was nine, and I wasn't privy to it either. But I feel right. like you start to seek help and add those placeholders in your life to replace what you lost. Once you know the Holy Spirit and Jesus, you know, starts to lift that veil from your eyes. Right. And, and thank you for sharing. Listen, I hope somebody else, you haven't said anything, but I hope you be, because listen, we have to talk about these kinds of things. We have a few more weeks on this because I've got some other things. It's so much in this and we're not going to take the time throughout, but there's so many things that are helpful. That's why I say, join me, invite someone else, because you don't know where other people are and the folk that are uh, able to be somewhat transparent, it's helpful to know you're not the only one dealing with or having to deal with or someone who is has has experienced what you experience and here's how they were helped and the testimonies and 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 that we're hearing from some people and of course you can't tell everybody everything about you because it's not problem. Amen. Don't 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 be foolish and tell all your business. Hello. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Because the Lord yeah. said, wait a minute. I, 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 the Lord has said, Holy Spirit didn't tell you to do that. <laughs> 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 yeah. Yeah. Well, you know yeah. they say uh, uh, confession is good for the soul, bad for the reputation. Yeah. Yes. yeah. Listen, and when I shared with you my traumatizing experience, believe me, I edited the Holy Spirit edited. It was profitable to know that the Bible study teacher is not exempt. But then Amen. again, 
it was it was necessary, I believe, and helpful to let yes. somebody else to know what the pastor yes. has, had, has had to deal with uh, what could have been unresolved trauma, and here's mm-hmm. how he dealt with it. And here is not exempt from it still, but now he 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 handles it differently. Yes, he does. Yeah. Because and 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 and, and I, I don't know if that oh, was uh, the same person was talking about how she sees a a a a, 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 a psychologist. Yeah. But you know, yes. what? some people don't want to share that because people look down on you when you so you can't even tell everybody that. Amen. Amen. I feel like that's a little bit more open, but I know growing up and hearing my parents and grandparents and talking about you know that wasn't you know, you're crazy or, you know, was looked so frowned upon. But what I learned, one thing that I learned when I went to therapy and also in my journey, like even through that process, God was able to speak to me yes. through the process. Like they go back so far and went back and just not to take too much time, but they went back to my childhood and I was saying how, you know, rough I had it and, and, um, my therapist asked me, how was I able to get through those things? Yes. I just sat and, and I was like, wow, like God gave me angels through that process wow. because, yes, he did. because I didn't have my parents or right. you know, family, but I had not, not blood family, you know what I mean? But yeah. people at me as a child Yes. you know, fed me, took me in, um, all kinds of things. So I'm like, oh. he, he was letting us know, like he was letting me know, like I was, I was, I saw it all. You know what I mean? Yes. Amen. Yes. yes. F- thank you, sister Revis. Now, listen, I want to give you guys, um, uh, 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 you want to take this down uh, or you can go back and pick it up. Uh, you can go back and look and listen to the Bible study. But I want to, if you have or are experiencing any of the following that I'm going to give you, you may have unresolved trauma. I'm going to give you these things. If you are experiencing or have experienced any of the following uh, 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 things that I'm going to give you, you may have. I said may have. Say, Pastor said you may have. I didn't say you have it. You may have unresolved trauma. First of all, y'all listening, and then we're going to be done. We only got one, two minutes here. You're listening? Some, amen? Amen. 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 amen? amen. One of the uh, following may indicate unresolved trauma is unexplainable anger. You, you, you're explosive all the time. Anger. That may be a result of unresolved trauma. Now we can stop and go back on that Un- unexplainable anger. Why are you always angry? Why are you always lashing out? Yeah, that might be an indication of unresolved trauma. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Can I give you another one? Yeah. Amen. Flash flashbacks or reoccurring memories may be an indication of unresolved trauma. Of course, we could talk about each one of these, but I'm just going to give them to you. Then I only got three, four more, and I'm just going to give you the headings, and then we're going to close. So I said, first of all, what? Unexplainable anger. Mm -hmm. I just said number two, flashbacks or reoccurring (laughs) memories. I could call them nightmares. You can call them... (laughs) Have you ever had a nightmare that when you shook yourself, woke yourself up, you were glad it was a nightmare and not real? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I heard that recently. I woke up from something. I said, oh my God, thank you. That was only a dream. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm I'm talking about recently. I said, Lord, thank you. Sister Readers, I said, thank you. That was real. It was that trauma. Yeah. I said, oh, thank you. Here's another one. Can I sleeplessness? I said, Mm -hmm. maybe a sign or indication of unresolved trauma. It may be. Yes. Sleep. How about, here we go. Irritability. You're mm. always irritable. 
There's something going on. Some of you see uh, 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 psychologists, they would sit down and say, so what makes you, you can talk. Or that's why you have to talk. The psychologist, the counselor, me as the pastor, if I'm talking to you, I don't know all the answers. You're going to help Amen. me when, I talk to, when you start talking back to me. Yeah. That's why a psychologist and, 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 and a counselor would say, so tell me what's going on. Yeah. Right. You've got to help me to help you by talking to me. Absolutely. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Okay. Uh, I, I just said unexplained anger, flashbacks, or reoccurring memory, sleeplessness, irritability. And I, then I kind of already, this one, nightmares or night sweats. I already kind of said that uh, yeah. when I said flashbacks. Uh, that falls in there. How about mm -hmm. anxiety or panic attacks? There's some people on this line now that are facing anxiety all the time. You got to take care of Hello? Amen. 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 Here's this last one and we're done. A constant state of high alert, feeling yeah. jumpy or in danger. Yeah. Now, I did not say they're not reasons, but you can't live life on high alert. You can't stay up on uh, high alert. That's too much stress on your body. Yes. Yeah. That's too much mental cycle. It's on the screen there, y'all. Uh, everything I just said. Uh, did you see it? Yeah. Okay. yeah. No, I didn't so, see it. so none of us, and we're done. None of I, I, I'm I'm hopeful that this Bible study is helpful to you guys as well, much as it is to me. Why hurt it people? Is. Hurt people. It could be mental. Uh, 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 the certain mental uh, things about it, or even uh, developing into mental illness. So we want to. We, we want to correct it if we can. We want to, if we do have a mental illness, we can seek help. Amen. And I'm, of course, I'm going to go as we go, what the Bible says. And there Amen. were other people in the Bible that had mental health issues. Y'all going to stay tuned. There are, and the Bible doesn't say mental health. I don't want to get ahead of myself. Just stay tuned. <laughs> Just stay tuned. There's some other bro brother Raymond. There's some folk that we look up to in the Bible that had mental health issues. Mm. Yeah. We got to think about that. So y'all got to stay with me, and we'll get to them. Amen. Tonight, somebody say, "Yeah, Pastor," because we're three minutes past the time. Okay. Okay. So, uh, any questions? Any questions thus far? Was anybody blessed by the night? Because you know, Amen. I'm Amen. Amen. Okay. So, so, so we're, we're going to pick up. Uh, we we already looked at family history and unresolved trauma, uh, perhaps from abusive childhood experience. But there's some other things, you know. And we'll look at that beginning prayerfully on next uh, Wednesday, and. Um, um, I, I don't want to give it to you now. Yet. I want to make you come back. <laughs> Amen. So other things that everybody can relate to or you have family members that you know are dealing with it and you might want them to tune in and say, just listen. And I thank each and every one of you that have verbally participated, but then I thank each and every one of you that have just been listening, and I pray that you have been helped, blessed in some kind of way, because you don't want to waste your time, I don't want to waste my time, and God says, whatever it is that we use to his glory, praise, and honor is never a wasted time. Amen. 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 Again, please don't forget... Um, this uh, is it. This Sunday is uh, yeah, uh, Palm Sunday, um, mm -hmm. and, and our communion Sunday. Uh, please don't forget those of you that are members. So we could, the church is always in financial need. He's got to say, Amen. I have to say that. If I don't mm -hmm. say, I might say, well, you didn't mention it. Please do your best to be supportive. Even the things that I'm talking about, it takes finances. Listen, you take, it doesn't stop at the church. The Lord doesn't rain it down from uh, heaven. He talks to people, his people. Amen. So your church, your pastor yes. is very appreciative of whatever you can do. Amen. 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 So who's going to close this out? Um, and I thank uh, Alexis and everybody with the scriptures and there's more scriptures to come. Amen. 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 All right. Who's I'll, I'll do it, I guess. Um, okay.
All right. Lord, we thank you. We praise you. Uh, Lord, we uh, thank you for allowing us to see another day that we've never yes. seen before. Yes, Lord. Lord God, we thank you for allowing us to make it this far throughout the day. And we thank yes. you for keeping us uh, through danger seen and unseen. Yes. Lord God, we thank you for um, our Bible study today. God, we thank you for our pastor giving us a word that will make us better. Uh, yeah. A word, God, that'll um, change, God, that'll, thank you, Lord. Uh, thank you, Lord. That, that, that'll make us stronger in you. Um, yes, uh, a, a word that'll reveal some issues that we need to uh, give you more of in our lives so thank that you, you have rule and reign over us, God. Yes. Lord, Lord God, we ask, God, that you would uh, allow us to uh, not hold back on um allow us to be able to be open god more open to you and allow us not yeah. to uh, hold hold on to things god that only you can heal even yeah. though we may have been hurt by others god you we know that you won't hurt us that you yeah. won't take advantage of us god and that thank if we you. can talk to you god when we talk to you, you we don't have to worry about it getting out and spreading out and you won't yeah. use it against us god so we thank yeah. you uh, for yeah. being um, our god we thank you for being our lord thank you. Um, you, Lord God, we thank you for being our father. And we just thank you mm. uh, for being God all by yourself. Lord thank God, we you. ask that you allow us to get some rest tonight. Yes. Allow us to um, be uh, rejuvenated and revived yes. for tomorrow. And yes. Lord God, we just ask that you would allow us to impact um, our communities, impact those that we're around. Lord, uh, yes. and make us indeed better. Uh, yes. Lord God, we love you tonight. We trust you. Uh, yes, we give everything over all our concerns over to you right now yes. in the yes. name of Jesus. In the name Lord of God, Jesus. bless our pastor, his family. God bless yes. everyone's yes. family that's on this call. Please do, Lord. Lord, Lord, Lord God, Thank we just you. ask that you would uh just have your way right now, God. Yes. Yes. And all that's going on, God, allow us not to be weary and well doing. Yeah, in due season, we will reap if we faint not. Yes. So, Lord God, we ask that you would allow us to keep moving forward. Yes. Lord, God, Lord God, we promise to give you back all the praise, you all the honor, and you all the glory. Yes. Lord, it's in Jesus' name that we pray with thanksgiving. Lord God's people say amen. 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 Thank you, Reverend amen. Pointer, for that amen. very, very Thank you, beautiful You're welcome. prayer. Amen. Thank you to every one of you guys, and prayerfully, I'll see you uh, as many as I can on Sunday. Amen. So you pray for me, and I'm going to keep praying for you. Amen. 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 Amen.